Well, here we all are, off to Australia Zoo. Oh. Hello, Tom. Hi. How are you? Hello, Walls. Hi. 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 We're <laughs> <laughs> three days away from this. <laughs> we are playing tourist. Van Ocean's ready for the jungle. Van Ocean's ready for the jungle. The apes Nothing eating again. The apes need feeding. Feeding time at the zoo. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> well, we've got the cheese off. Hello, I'm at Kajamba Zoo. <laughs> She's off to the loo. <laughs> <laughs> Skip to the loo. All right. All right, we'll be with you in a sec. Okay. All right, the boys are just busy eating. The important things. Don't worry about the zoo, just as long as you can eat. She's giving it a good squeeze at the moment, but that's why I'll probably have her out for no longer than 20 minutes or so. It doesn't hurt, it's just a pressure. They can, they're not poisonous, but I mean, if it happens, they're not at this size. She's only young, she's about six years old. Johnny sees his first koala. <laughs> oh, His granny at the koala sanctuary enjoying yourself. Brilliant. Yeah. What you looking for? Looking at the cocoa bunnies. Where? Ah, oh, right. There's two of them. Like men in suits. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine <laughs> people in there. Yeah. What's this? Oh, it's a crocodile! Crikey, mate! Crikey! <laughs> <laughs> Get it, get it, Tom! Get it, Tom! It's go, it's going for you. Oh no! I'm mounting the crocodile. No, it's for the elephants, Tom. You're not not feeding you for free. <laughs> Now folks, there still is some food left in these buckets. If anyone else wants to line up, grab some food out of the bucket, head straight on up to the front, and once you get to the front of the line, head straight on up to that red mat to feed the elephant from. Don't stand beside the mat, don't stand behind it, and please don't stand in front of that mat. If you're standing directly on the red mat, that is the best place to feed the elephant from.
We also do have professional photographers at each one of our feed stations. If anyone wants a professional photo taken, you all will have one taken of you. Remember which elephant you fed. Check out the green sign on the wall so you know which elephant you fed. Then head to the photo lab anytime after the first Wildlife Warriors show and you can check out all the proofs of the photos that were taken here at Elephant Feed. Now you can take that proof home for free or you can purchase yourself a larger copy if you would prefer. So what was that like? It was gross. No, it was good. It was, it was a bit weird. It's like ticklish. Your impressions? Cool. Good. Your impressions, John. <laughs> <laughs> Because there's still food left in these buckets, especially down at Siam and Bimbo's line. So Siam is on the right hand end, Bimbo is right in the middle. If anyone wants to jump in the line, grab a piece of food, come on around and feed our gorgeous Asian elephants. Now we do need to keep these lines moving nice and quickly and smoothly, so the elephants do keep their attention on the food. So once you've fed the elephant, folks, head straight out the exit as fast as you can. Don't forget about our yellow and green conservation buckets. These are for donations to our Wildlife Warriors Fund, and we really do appreciate every single cent that goes into these buckets. Don't forget, $5 or more, you can grab yourself one of those limited edition elephant keychains. Australia, 
these women are kind of old. And figure out going to hang in the is not an ideal place to pass the line for it, or you can sit out with them in order. Stay in the water, and we're going to get yeah, on one and one. We'll see how you guys see. Come, come, good boy, here you go. Come here, go. Right out of the way, mate. Right out of the way. Good boy, how's that? So, what you saw there again, another strike with the crocodile. What Monty's done is now, he's probably got a full blown crocodile strike. To just the one flat leg. Now, crocodiles have been on the planet for around 240 million years. And they have changed over the sea monkey for the last 65 million years. And they've evolved to become one of the most efficient animals to attack predators on the face of the earth. We'll bring you back to this way and get a really good idea of what we're all about. Is it a pop? What did you say we were? I like the Wizard of Oz. We've got the Tin Man. What's that, no brain? I don't know. <laughs> What's that? No, where am I? Yeah, anyway. We've got the Tin Man. We've got the Lion. We've got the Scarecrow. And Dorothy. Go on, Dorothy, let's go. We're off to see you the wizard. We're off. <laughs> the wonderful Wizard of Oz. <laughs> go. Onward. Onwards and onwards. Onwards. Yeah. We follow the yellow big road. <laughs> Bears like you. There's no eggs. Gonna pat it. Tom. Yeah. You come to take a photo, okay? What does it feel like, Tom? It's a bony. Does it feel like a kangaroo? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Hello. Hello. Thank you. 
<laughs> On the right hand side with Mika and uh, Shane's going to take Sunita up the top there as well. So one of the first things we're going to do is uh, just get them to put it down or sitting down position. And this is a good way to start the, uh, start the session off. And you'll see that we uh, move away from the cat, sometimes using a hand gesture as well, getting them to try and stay in that position. And then from there we can go straight into a uh, sit-up. Now this sit-up position is pretty cool. You can see them just balancing on their back legs there. And uh, this position they would use when they're out walking around amongst the trees. And uh, you can imagine the handler's arm is uh, a low branch of a tree or low overhanging branch. And they would spray up underneath it. Because the reason why I spray underneath the branch is it, it reduces the, the wash off when it rains. And that way it leaves the mark so that the other cats will come through and they'll be able to sniff and tell what other cats have been here. And this is what we often see when we're out the back. I'll sit up like this, it just gets them a little bit higher and closer to the underside of those trees. So uh, you can see little Mickey's doing a really good job of it there at the moment. Charlie's been a bit of a rat bag. Okay, so one of the other pretty cool uh, things that we can do with them is uh, your rise. Shane's doing it with Sunita right up the top there. And you can see um, how big the cats are up against the handlers. Charlie here is a bit of a monster, so you'll be able to see him get up on there next to Dave and the uh, towers above him there. Charlie's one of our largest cats. He's about 130 kilos, so uh, he's a decent size. Now, uh, this is also a position that they would get into that we see when we're out walking them, especially on the, the trunks of trees. They'll get up and they'll rake their claws into the bark, leaving a visual marking. So not only do they spray mark, they'll use the visual markings as well and they'll leave these uh, claw marks in the tree. So you can see that. So you can see Sunita there, she's in a really good spot right close to the window. We've got Mika up the back. Very shortly we are going to take Sunita off. We've just taken Charlie off. And we're going to leave Mika out. I think Shane's just going to run through a little bit of training with her as well. So feel free. That is the jump there. Not one of those big powerful rappers. She doesn't have all the curved feet, she does not have 